All right, so this is a video of getting rid of box elder bugs or maple bugs. I have a massive infestation. This isn't bad right now because the sun is starting to go down in this area and it's shaded and they usually congregate in sunny areas in the fall or spring if they're actually camping out in your house. All right, and I have an ash tree right here. All right, so elder, ash, maple kind of trees. And normally I vacuum these guys up, but you start up the shop vac, it scares three quarters of them away and you get a small percentage. Now I'm gonna try to spray these guys with a soap solution and I'm gonna take you through that right now. All right, so I got a cheap little dollar store bottle here. I'm gonna fill it to 25 ounces. All right, I've already put one tablespoon of Tide in it. Okay, and I'm gonna add some Dawn. All right, just a tablespoon of this. And I'm kind of skeptical. I'm not sure if it's gonna actually work as good as it says. I probably missed half of it because I'm trying to get it on video here. So, so far I got a tablespoon of Dawn, all right? Tablespoon of Tide, okay, liquid soap. And now I have some hot tap water. What I usually do is I bring out the shop back when this happens because if you don't pick away at them, they tend to really get bad, okay? And what happens with the shop vac is it works great actually, but you have to bring it outside and it's kind of a few hour process because you'll scare them all away and you'll get half of them because they'll scurry into cracks and crevices because I got siding and brick as well. So let's see what I got here so far. Almost 25 ounces and this water is pretty hot. All right, so I've been reading around that this works great. I was kind of deliberating whether or not I should put an acid in like vinegar, but I think what I'm gonna do is actually try this out and go through different home remedies one at a time and see what works best. So let's get to it. Okay, so you can see a crack that I need to seal. All right, so they're getting in there and they're wintering. And this isn't nearly as bad as it could be, right? But I'm gonna try this to see if they drop and die. So hopefully you can see what's going on. I'm gonna move the camera here so you can get a closer view here and see what happens. I didn't shake the bottle. I kind of just stirred it up a little bit. Doesn't seem to be doing much to them. They're still kind of walking around. I used a tablespoon. Oh, see, oh, they're slowly dropping. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe there was uh, just water in the sprayer. I hope you guys can see this. I don't want to be spraying them all day. So let's see if they are dropping here. Oh, there's so many. We had a cool day. So what happens is they want to bask on a sunny area and this has been sunny all day. So now it's still warm and then they come out when it's warm and then they go back in wherever they can find a crack or crevice. And I don't know if this is doing anything at all. Now I'm wondering if they're just stunned trying to figure life out here. Cause I gave them a pretty good dose. Okay, I'm gonna try another area. 
All right, this is a bad one too. We got this plant. It's beautiful, but it, they're hiding all over it, in between it. And you can see where they can get in between the siding of the brick. So I'm gonna have to actually start sealing that up or something. Okay, now they're scurrying. Maybe this is kind of a long term. They seem to be dropping, I guess, but that doesn't really mean much if they're not going to die. So this is a process of being vigilant, I think. Like as soon as these guys come, you have to get out there and get rid of them, whether it's a vacuum or this method. So it'll be interesting to see. So this is how much I've used so far, right? And let's see if this solution does anything. So I'm going to try a whole bunch of home remedies because I don't want to start getting into a bunch of chemicals. So let's see how this goes and I'll keep you posted. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes and there's some that are still moving because they're probably ones that have come out since I've been away, but look. These are ones that I've sprayed and normally you couldn't get this close. All right. Now these guys I probably didn't spray, but oh, and there's still some dropping. Cause look, like they would scatter. What about these guys over here? It actually paralyzes them it seems all right let's go down over here as well and check this out just paralyzes them and these guys aren't scurrying away so these are probably ones that fell so I think the combination of this soap mixture and shop back will be good. All right, 